Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn the divisibility rules for numbers. In this video we will be learning the divisibility rules from number 2 to number 6. And in the next video we will learn the divisibility rules from number 7 to number 10. So let's start with our first number which is number 2. So the divisibility rule for number 2 is very easy. It is if the unit's digit in the given number is 0 or if it is even then the number is divisible by 2. Let's understand this with an example. If we have number 40, so it is having 0 in the units digit. So 40 is fully divisible by number 2 and we get 20 as our answer. Next we will take one more example in which the units digit is an even number. So let's take 16. 16 is also fully divisible by 2 or 16 divided by 2 is 8. So we have the divisibility rule for number 2 as if the units digit contains a 0 or if it is an even number. Let's move on to the divisibility rule for number 3. So the divisibility rule for number 3 is if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3 then the number is divisible by 3. Let's take number 12 and check whether 12 is divisible by 3 or not. So we see that here the sum of the digits of 12 is 3 and 3 is divisible by 3. So 12 is divisible by 3. This is one example. Let's take one more example. Let's take a bigger number as 74. So let's check whether the sum is divisible by 3 or not. So 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 is not fully divisible by 3. So 74 is not divisible by 3. So the divisibility rule for number 3 is the sum of the given digit should be divisible by 3 for the number to be divisible by 3. Let's move on to our next number which is number 4. Divisibility rule for number 4 is if the last two digits are divisible by 4 then the number is divisible by 4. For example, let's take number 436 and check whether this is divisible by 4 or not. So we see that the, the last two digits of this number is 36 and 36 is fully divisible by 4. 4 times 9 is 36. Hence this number 436 should be divisible by 4. Let's check it out. 1 is 4, 4 times 0 and 4 times 9. The number is divisible by 4. Let us check 132. So 132, the last two digits are 32. 32 is fully divisible by 4. 32 times 8 is 4. So 132 should be divisible by 4. So 132 divided by 4 is 4 times 3 is 12. 1 will be carried over. So this becomes 12. So 4 times 3 is 12. So 132 is also divisible by 4. Hence the divisibility rules for number 4 is the last two digits should be divisible by 4 for the number to be divisible by 4. Now let's check the divisibility rule for number 5. The divisibility rule for number 5 is very easy. For the number to be divisible by 5, the unit's digit should be 5 or 0. Let's take number 20. So here in this number, unit's digit is 0. So 20 is divisible by 5. If the unit's digit number is 5, let's take 15. So 15 is also divisible by 5. So this is very easy. If the last digit is 0 or 5, the number is divisible by 5. Let's check the divisibility rule for number 6. So the divisibility rule for number 6 is if the number is divisible by 2 and 3, then the number is divisible by 6. Let's take few examples and check 26 is divisible by 2 and 26 is is not divisible by 3. 26 is not divisible by number 6. Let's check 18 whether 18 is divisible by, or by 6 or not. So 18 is divisible by 2 and 18 is also divisible by 3. Hence 18 should be divisible by 6. 6 times 3 is 18. So, if the number is divisible by 2 and 3 both, 
then the number is divisible by 6. This is the divisibility rule for number 6. So in this video, I have covered the divisibility rules from number 2 to number 6. In the next video, we will cover the divisibility rules from number 7 to 10. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.